Good morning, you guys. So it's been a long time since I've sat down and actually done a vlog, and even longer since I've sat down and actually <laughs> talked to you guys about what's going on in my life. So I thought we would start with that. So recently hasn't been great. <laughs> um, so a couple of weeks after nationals with Harry, she was on a break anyway and my dad was fixing a roof of a shed in our garden and he fell off and broke his ankle. So that wasn't great because obviously my dad drives the big lorry and I have a three and a half tonner as well, which I'm very, very lucky for, which is very new that we've just got. And Harriet will go on it, but she will not travel on it. She's lit I can't even express to you guys how insane she is. So that's been a bit of an issue in terms of like getting her places at the moment. I'm sure you guys have noticed I haven't been out recently, recently. So we've kind of just been working on her at home, which is fine, but it's just getting a bit like demotivating and I'm pining to go back to a show. I miss it so much. Um, but hopefully I'm at Arena UK next week from Monday to Friday. So that should cure my missing of shows. <laughs> in some amazing news I have another new sponsor um, so I'm now sponsored by Opal Equestrian um, who have provided me with well, all my riding clothes which is insane like uh, I don't have to wear anything else ever again like and they're so gorgeous like we did a um, they sent me some items to review um, and I genuinely really really loved their stuff so I, I basically messaged them to say um, if you'd ever be interested in partnering, I'd always be interested and really happy with all the items you sent me. And they got straight back and said that they would love to partner with me, which is just insane. So I'm now sponsored by Opal Equestrian as well, who've provided all of my, my gear that I'm currently wearing and will always be wearing from now on. <laughs> this is a thermal base layer. So it's freezing now outside um, and this thermal base layer is just amazing and then I've got my red opal leggings on um, and underneath them I don't know if you guys can see that's not my skin <laughs> that's not my skin that's a thermal bit, like layer of leggings as well that they do which are just really really good so yeah I absolutely love my new sponsors and of course I'm still sponsored by Blue Chip who I'm so grateful for because they've done so much for me and the horses and I just feel so lucky to have two amazing sponsors. <laughs> Thank you to Opal and Blue Chip always. Love you guys. So in other exciting news guys um, I'm also getting my first ever proper tack locker soon. Um, I was approached by a company in Spain called Saddlebox Spain who are making me my first ever proper tack locker. So I'm just so excited to see it. My voice is going, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so, so excited to see that. Um, so that's really exciting news too. But in other news, and this is what we're kind of gonna get into in this vlog and for many vlogs to come, because like, it's not great, but I feel like I should share it with you guys. Um, and that is that I was riding a horse for someone the other day and they pointed out that I had an issue through my back um, and I've had a lot of back issues over the last couple of years and this issue is causing me to lean with more weight into my outside stirrup than my inside stirrup and consequently like not being balanced and affecting the horse in different ways and stuff and like obviously long term effects on the horse won't be great if I'm putting more weight in the outside stirrup to what I am on the inside. Um, you know, in terms of like physio and back issues for them, that's not gonna be great. And this is only something that I've started doing like over the last year, I think, because I've sort of noticed it recently as well. And I've been trying to correct it through my riding, but that's not enough. It's obviously become a bit more of a set in issue with me. And now I need to tackle that. And I just wanted to sort of share this journey right from the beginning of how to sort of go about tackling a riding issue because <laughs> I just dropped my phone because we all have issues when we're riding and stuff and you don't often hear about how people are tackling them and like coming back from injuries and sorting out 
different issues that they have with themselves. So I'm basically going to share that journey from the start, which is today, because I found this out yesterday or the day before, but I didn't ride yesterday. So today's the day. <laughs> and I am going to start as I mean to go on. I'm going to fix this issue and I'm going to better myself as a rider. And I want to share this journey with you from the start and all the pains and ups and downs of it. So first thing first, I'm going to book with my physio some more sessions and try and see if there's anything that they can find that is the sole cause of the, of the thing, of the issue I'm having. And hopefully they'll be able to advise me on their best ways of how to fix it. So I'm going to do that as soon as they open. They're not open yet, so I'll call them as soon as they're open and try and get an appointment. In the meantime, I know that the issue is weight distributing. So I am gonna go and buy two weight scales today, both the same make, the same brand, everything. And I'm gonna stand and try and do some of my workout exercises on them by but applying even weight through both of my legs, which I'm gonna assume is gonna feel really odd if I'm not doing that. I work out already, but I'm gonna have to try and tailor my workout now to better myself in a more specific way as a rider. The last video I posted, guys, was an edit that I made a few days ago. And I feel like I've kind of been in a bit of a, a rut in my life at the moment, and I haven't really been doing much. And I feel like I've started to believe that I can't do it anymore and that it's just not gonna happen for me. And then when I was making that video, I sort of realized it sounds so stupid, but I just realised how far I'd come from the start and how some of the issues, like I posted loads of falls in there and stuff, and how some of those felt like literally the end of the world at the time. And now they're like almost laughable. Like you look back and you think like, oh, that was nothing compared to this. And I keep working hard every day and I keep pushing myself so that in a few years time, hopefully I will look back on this and go like, oh God, that was nothing compared to what I'm going through now. And like... I just want to keep bettering myself as a rider because this is what I want to do. I want to be a show jumper. And I feel like sometimes I forget that, but like, it's always been my dream. There's never been anything else. Like all I've ever wanted to do is jump. So I'm gonna keep working at this. I'm never gonna give up on my dream. I will die trying to be successful. <laughs> I hope you guys will follow me on this new sort of journey. I don't know why I just like almost slapped myself in the face. Yeah. So other than that, back to today's vlog. Okay, so I've nearly finished putting the horses out for today. Um, I just have, Rue, what's on your face? <laughs> Rue, you... <laughs> um, I just have Dreamer, Nero and Evie left to put out. So I am gonna go put them out in a minute. Um, but here are the shetties who are stealing the remainders of this net. Macy, is that really necessary? You have grass. Like, I know it's not much, but there's not supposed to be much because you're all obese. Look, you're all so fat. He's so fat he can't even fit out of his door. Timmy, come out. Come and enjoy life. Come out. Come on. Oh, off he goes. arguments going on. Can we get one another? It's a scrap of hay. Look, we've all, we've all gathered here to see this scrap of hay. We're literally all gathered over this. Guys, it's nothing. It's like 
the bottom of your horse's neck that this is what we all want and crave because we can't be bothered to look for food in the starvation paddock because you're all obese. So basically Hannah has taken to showing the Shetties now. Hannah is Becky's twin sister and also one of my very close friends and she's going to be showing all of these Shetties now. This is Timmy, by the way, guys, for those of you who don't know him, because he's a bit weird. He's a bit weird, actually. He's a bit weird. <laughs> but we are going to be showing these shetties. I'm not a massive fan of showing, but the showing of shetties I can live with. <laughs> wow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's got me. Got me pinned, aren't you smidge? <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done putting the horses out. I just have Noah and Evie to put out. I'm not gonna move their field today. I've kind of just extended it a little bit because it seems really pointless to move it because they're moving into their new fields either tomorrow or the following day. So I think I'm just gonna like leave it where it is and give them haylage and stuff because there's still a bit of grass in there. It's just like not much. So I think I'll, Give them some haylage and I'll go give them all a little bit of haylage because they all kick off if I give one haylage. They're spoiled. <laughs> so I will go give them all some haylage. Harry and Boo. Look, Harry broke a rail. How annoying. I'm going to have to fix that later. I've already put a spare rail there. Hang on. Can you see? There. I've put a spare rail that I'm going to put there. That's the plan. And then I have all of these stables to muck out, and by all of these stables, I mean 11, not just these three. I wish. I wish it was just these three. Ah, Aren't you cute? He's so cute. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> you enjoying that? <laughs> okay, so... I'm officially exhausted. The horses are done um, until later. I have to ride Nero and lunge Harriet. But I've just rung my physio and she's ringing me back in the morning. So there's not much else I can do about that. But I've started the journey. I've made the call. Um, I've also ordered um, two scales for me to start training with to help evenly balance my weight so that I can like do my working out and stuff and my normal routine but on the scales so that I can see which leg I'm putting more weight in and hopefully correct myself. Um, so they come tomorrow, I've ordered them on an overnight. Um, yeah, and I've ordered Harry a girth sleeve as well because she's very like sensitive skinned under a girth. So yeah, I feel like I've been quite productive today in that sense, but there's not much else I can do other than that. So I'll probably vlog into tomorrow as well so you guys can start to see sort of the progression in this first vlog. So it's day two of the vlog. Say hi, Han. Hello. And me and Hannah are trying to find somewhere to go to entertain ourselves for the afternoon. <laughs> right. Um, McDonald's. Yep. We made it to McDonald's. Yes. I got fries. What did you get, Han? I got fries and a wrap. And Healthy. a wrap. <laughs> Healthiness. 
I've ridden Harry. Then we are going to BATA after this, aren't we? Yes. Get horse stuff. Get some horsey stuff. Horsey stuff. And then we're off to the Sea Life Centre, where I haven't been since I was like eight. Oh so. my god. <laughs> when was the last time you went? Probably like the same sort of time. Yeah. Like, you know, when you, you, you really, really go. Little. Yeah, you don't really go as adults, do you? You go as kids. No, it I should be so a massive quiet disappointment. Well. I know, I know. It's going to ruin it for us forever, oh. isn't it? Play the small violin. No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> Hannah spilt fries everywhere. At least it wasn't the drinks. Yeah, that's true. Yep. It's beautiful! That's where we're going. Sea Life Centre, those pointy buildings. But look how beautiful this is. Like, how lucky are we to live here? It's so pretty! And I love my new car. <laughs> Obsessed with the car. Okay, this guy behind me is getting really pissed off because I'm driving at like four miles per hour. <laughs> Mew. Wee. Wee. <laughs> oh my god! Like my trendy, couldn't find ankle socks, so put normal socks on and yep. like made the effort socks that look nice. horrendous, but oh well. Brilliant. Are you excited, Han? Yes. On a train, guys. Hannah yeah, just says like, she feels like she's in America. It's just like it doesn't feel like a British thing, does it? It feels like we're in like Disney. Hannah, I've never felt more British in my life. Oh, okay. I'm sat outside, it's kind of cold, eating a calico on a little green train. I guess. <laughs> I catch it moving for the first time. Hannah, I'm so excited. Do you want me to sit with you? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god, it's moving. We're moving. Hannah. What's your, what's your feet between the train and the platform? Oh no, mind the gap. Oh, mind the gap. <laughs> Imagine if I just dropped my phone down there. No, no, no. <laughs> look, look, yeah, the oh my god, that used to seem so high, it doesn't look very high. I've never been on that. You did, oh, wait, can we do this at some point? Wait, is it still open? Yeah, it is. <gasps> no, I've seen where? it this year. Oh, it's been nice. So that's open air theatre, guys. Um, you can like bubble with this. I wouldn't recommend it.
hon. <laughs> she videos anyway. <laughs> watch, watch me having done all that and Hannah just fall, falls off the, the, the small slope with pile of stones. It looks cool, you're walking through. <laughs> you look like one of those things outside of a car dealership that like yeah, waves the arm. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Floaty that just goes like. <laughs> I don't think I can them. fit through the hole. I have to explain to them. <laughs> when the fire brigade come to get me out, and you have to explain. Yeah, so she thought she could fit through the hole, but but she couldn't. But she couldn't. She actually couldn't. I tried so. to tell her not to. But she she, but she, she did it anyway. It anyway. Guys, the prince in the sand. Quite cold actually. Rolling jeans up. It's actually not horrendous. Not horrendous. Like it's not too bad. It's really refreshing. Like look, this is where it like drops down. No, it starts to go like proper down. Is a pretty stone. Are you gonna keep it? No. You call it Fred. Fred. Goodbye, Fred. Fred. Fred no. I don't think you're gonna find him. Ah. Ah. Fred. Fred. No. No. <laughs> Hannah, I can't believe you killed Fred. Hannah, you That's murderer. Josh. George. Look at that. Are you having fun, Han? Yeah, yeah. Do your pose in front of the uh, big shallows. <laughs> Summer fun. <laughs> Han, this is so pretty. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's so refreshing on your feet as well. Oh, good. Oh, oh my God. What did I just do? Just go in the sea. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not, guys? You only live once. Living her best life. Living my... Yeah. Living her best life. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing. Gotta do it. <laughs> Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Pizza and Park now? Yes. Climbing trees? Feeding squirrels? Of course. Soaked? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so where are we now, Han? Pizza and Park. We're Pizza and Park. 
really pretty in my soaking wet jeans from driving in the sea. What are those? What are those? Oh, and all the kids have like gone back. Oh, one really is just pretty. still out of, out of school. Yeah. It's so pretty. Ah, the sun just blinded me twice. I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see the sun so painful. Oh, it's so beautiful though. Look at it. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying making this vlog. Han, do you want to make a wish at the wishing well? A wish? Yeah, oh. I've got loads of change. Do you want to chuck it down there? Yeah, sure. I'll go to charity. Oh, it goes to charity. <laughs> First one to hit the bell wins. Okay. Hang on, let me get far enough away to see if you actually hit the bell. Okay. I win. Fuck's sake. What? How are you so good? Hannah, I that's three in. out of three. Yeah, that, it's still that three did out of three. hit the bell, but. Did, that... did any of them hit? Yes. Two. Three. 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 Fuck's sake, I've got three to yep. beat. Right. Come in now. Yeah. Did you go up? I think you went like that. I think, yeah. Well, I've got to get all of these to hit. This is how bad I am at throwing. I think that, that's one. That's one. Two. Two. If I get this, I draw with Hannah. Come on, come on, come on. I want to go to Hoys. Hoys 2019, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. Yes, I'm yeah. going to Hoys. I'm going to Hoys. Going to hold. Going to oh. hold. Going to hold. Don't fall in the well. Yeah. Hannah, people can't see there's a cage there. It looks oh. like I'm doing like some. Look like I'm falling in. Oh, Hannah! Oh, Hannah. no! Hannah! Hannah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, he was angry. He's angry. He's got behavioural issues. Angry dog. You're right, babe. What's that? He's talking to me, Han. Oh my God. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was talking to me. I did some sort of weird horror movie. Pigeons having a having a do. Put my hand out to see if it'll land on it. Definitely that time here. Oh, <gasps> see. Oh my God! I told you. <laughs> Hannah's made a friend. <laughs> oh my God! And fly it. There it goes. Off it goes. Hannah, how do you feel? Oh my God! That was really weird. If you have nuts, you oh. get literally like twenty on one arm. Hannah's bonding with the wildlife. The pigeons are so jealous. Your pigeon friends are like, excuse me, bitch. <gasps> she did. Oh my God, guys, she did. She got three in a row. This Hannah. one likes me. Is it the same one? I think it must be. I thought the first one was darker. If you can, if you get it to touch you, I'll give you a quid. A quid. A quid. If it touches your hand, like contact. Oh. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Guys, I parallel parked. Now, we are at Mario. Hey you guys, so me and Hannah just got back from our meal at Florio's, which was really nice. I don't know why I'm filming from this angle, I'm just really tired, so I want to lay down. <laughs> My hair is everywhere. Um, yeah, we had a lovely meal at Florio's. I had, like, a basket of bread for starters, because the bread at Florio's is... Oh my god, it's amazing. And then Hannah had a pizza, like a garlic bread pizza to start with. And then for mains, I had a pasta, but I could hardly eat any of it because I was so stuffed from the bread. 
and Tana had another pizza, which she somehow managed to finish. I don't even know. Okay, so, like, that was really cool, and my car didn't get stolen, even though we parked in, like, a kind of dodgy part of town. <laughs> um, so that was good, and I managed to parallel park, as you saw by the previous video. Okay, guys, so before I end this vlog, I kind of just want to have a little talk about something, and that is that 17 years ago, to this day, was the 9-11 attack in New York on the Twin Towers, and... Like, I was only two at the time. I was, because I was born in 1999, so I was two when this happened in 2001. Um, so I don't remember it happening, but I remember, I have a memory of being, like, really little and, like, crawling around outside my kitchen and, like, hearing my parents talking about a plane crashing into a building and stuff. And, like, and my grandparents were there as well. So I don't think, I can't imagine that that was when, I'm imagining that was maybe a couple of years later or something, because um, I doubt I would have had a memory that early and that accurate from when I was two. But I remember them talking about it and I remember just never really understanding and I still don't understand why the world is full of such violence and like disaster. I mean, years on from that, we've still had so many like, that was an incredibly massive scale um, and an awful disaster. But we've still had a lot of terror attacks since that have ended in so many lives being lost. And I just, I don't get it. I still don't. I didn't when I was however old I was when I remembered that memory. But I still don't get it now. And I'm 19 years old. I don't understand why the world has to be filled with so much violence and I just wanted to sort of take this moment at the end of the vlog for all of us to kind of just when this is finished just kind of reflect for a minute and think about all the lives that were lost this day 17 years ago I don't know when this will go up I'm hoping that this will go up either on the evening of 9-11 or the following morning but just take a moment whenever this is or wherever you are and just think about all those people and how everything can be taken away in a flash and we su we should be so grateful for everything we have and all of our lives and blessed to have the lives that we have because those people didn't deserve to die and they shouldn't have died and nearly yet 3,000 of them died in one day in a couple of hours <laughs> which is just it's not okay and even though it was 17 years ago the world will never forget that moment and I'll never forget it even though I don't remember when it happened I'll never forget that and I never want to forget those people and how brave they were all the all the firemen the police the paramedics everyone who went into those buildings to try and help all the people who were just so brave trying to rescue one another in the towers, those people in the planes and stuff. Like, I just want to remember all of those people and, like, my thoughts are with their families still 17 years later because I can't imagine how difficult it must be to, for, like, an anniversary like that to come round every year. Um... So yeah, I just kind of want to take a minute for you guys to reflect. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys there and say thank you for watching the vlog. The first one in ages, but hopefully not the last for a while. I've enjoyed filming this last couple of days and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know it hasn't been like overly horsey, but I'm going to vlog next week when I go to Arena UK and stuff. And I, it's weird because I have spent a lot of time with the horses over the last couple of days, but I just haven't filmed it. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what me and Hannah got up to on our sort of couple of days off. And I've also... Oh, sorry. Finger went in the lens. <laughs> um, my stuff arrived today so I can start working on my riding issues. So this is vlog one 
of that and I'm hoping to keep you guys on the journey from tomorrow I'm gonna be working out with my new equipment and I'm excited my physio didn't call me today though so I need to kind of chase that up a little bit <laughs> I had a feeling she wouldn't she's very busy um so yeah I need to chase that up lots to do but we'll get there <laughs> So anyway, I will see you guys soon with another vlog. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I've kind of been neglecting my YouTube a little bit recently, which I'm really sorry about. Um, but I do post regularly on Instagram, so you can follow me there. It's at Blob the Cob, or just, just type in Blob the Cob into the search bar and it'll come up. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I love you all so much, and I will see you later. Bye!